Hi YouTube, this is VidHead85 and I am doing a little spotlight really quickly on anime. Um, one, I will spotlight two of them. One's Junjo Romantica, one's Inuyasha. And I'll also talk, maybe, I'll, I'll try and see if I can talk a little bit about Yu-Gi-Oh! while I'm at it. Well, anime, the first one I discovered was Dragon Ball Z. And, and then I got into Dragon Ball and I got into those, those two um, because they were on at the same... I think Dragon Ball came first and Dragon Ball Z came next. And I really liked, liked the fight scenes in Dragon Ball Z. So I said, yeah, I'm going to watch them. So years later, I discovered many animes like Yu Yu Hakusho, which is an amazing one. Um, I really enjoy it. I wouldn't mind seeing it in Japanese, but it seems like it's mostly an English dub one. Um... So I guess an American studio must have done it from done it from from scratch from the the Japanese and I don't even know if it was in Japanese uh, whatsoever but the game is in Japanese so that very well may be I guess the Japanese version is hard to find um, so um, one is the first one Junjo Romantica is is what's called Yaoi anybody familiar with that knows that it's it's um, a gay basically like a gay series um, and it's written by women uh, there is another genre called bar which is much more uh, pornographic but it's um, also instead of the slinky skinnier versions in the yaoi they're bigger they're more masculine in that one um, in the bara comics um, but getting on to junjo romantica Junjo Romantica is about three couples. The Romantica couple, the Egoist couple, and the Terrorist couple. The Romantica couple is Usagi and Masaki. Usagi-san is a... He, he, he comes from um, a, a millionaire family, a very rich family. Masaki comes from a poor one, a relatively poor family. Um, ordinary is what he usually calls himself. So, um, it's an interesting pairing because he, he believes that... Masaki believes that he caused his parents death when he told them to hurry home. So he is he doesn't like to cause trouble for other people because he he believes that when he when he does when he has people consider his feelings um something disastrous will happen. Um Usagi is a rich kid um and he he graduated top of his class from Taito University and he is a writer he is he is a writer um, of he writes regular quote books and he writes yaoi books um and his pen name is akikawa yaoi which is march in japanese so this couple what ends up happening is um usagi is going to be tutoring masaki and he finds out that masaki finds out a book, um, Romance in the Student Lounge or something like that, that's based on Usagi and Takahiro, which is Nichan to Masaki, brother. So what ends up happening is he confronts him over this and he says, well, any man will do, right? So Usagi takes that to mean him. And how they meet is very interesting, but the love that they have for one another is, is really evident. And that hence the romantica aspect. It's a very it's a very strong, stable love that is thrown into like the, it's a it's kind of like a like a ship on a sea, and it's really good because it shows the purity of of love, um, regardless of it being between two two men. And that's one thing that I think that people should see. So that's the the romantica. That's the romantica portion. They have a um, all three of the couples have a have an animal, and Usagi collects bears. He collects um, like teddy bears. Um, he want he he wanted a normal childhood, but growing up in, in in his 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 kind of family that wasn't possible. So what he did was he he collected teddy bears. And <laughs> there's one episode where Misaki opens up a closet and a barrel anch falls all falls on him but you know you'll see you'll see it as it goes on um they're the main couple and it's a really nice one um because they're just awesome so um so the next couple is the egoist couple junjo egoist 
Junjo Egoist is about Hiroki and Nawaki. Now, Hiroki knows Usagi, and he teaches Misaki also, because uh, Misaki goes to, um, he is, in the first episode, Misaki is, wants to go to Mitsuhashi University, which Nichan wanted to go to, but after their parents died, he did not go. And Usagi is training him so that he can go to Mitsuhashi University. He gets on the, Misaki gets on the wait list, and then he, he is able to go to Mitsuhashi University, where Hiroki works as a professor, and then he becomes associate professor. Nawaki, however, is somewhat like Misaki as well. It's interesting how, how these two characters um, how Hiroki and Misaki are quite alike. They're very alike because they come from poor backgrounds. They also come from ordinary, if you will, backgrounds. And Hiroki also comes from money because he lived across the street from Usagi. And um, Nawaki was an orphan and he was found on the day of a typhoon. And Nawaki means typhoon. And it's appropriately, he's appropriately named because that's what he starts in Hiroki. Now, Hiroki is... Um, He's kind of miserable sometimes. He kind of reminds me of Daryl a lot because, not because of him being miserable, but because he's so... Hiroki is very intense, but he's also just... He also has a superiority thing about him. He thinks that he should be the one that, that's in control all the time, and that's not the way that reality is. Things don't work out the way you want them to. Well... Hiroki ends up falling for Nawaki. Nawaki, what ends up, how they meet is he's in a, he's in a, um, Nawaki and Hiroki are both in a park. Hiroki is crying because he was rejected by Usagi-san. He thought that if he could seduce him, then he would be his. And he's thinking about it, and he's crying when a rocket lands near him, and he's jarred. And Nawaki is, he says, excuse me, and then he looks, um, I think he puts it, his hand on, um, no, no, actually he doesn't yet, but either way, they end up talking, and Nawaki is doing a little rocket launch for three CEOs of a company, and Hiroki's like, what kind of man are you? So, what happens is he follows them home or something like that happens, and he, he, Nawaki wants Hiroki to teach him. Because he finds out he's a he's a professor and he wants him to to teach him, and it kind of it's really kind of clever how they it's as far as I see it it's very real how it happens, but it's also very kind of a little strange. But he eventually ends up saying. Or Nawaki eventually has to spell it out for Hiroki, and Hiroki is like, "What is this? What What are you doing?" And they kind of they they start they start something, and then Nawaki goes off for a period of time to America without telling Noa uh, Hiroki, and then the next episode Hiroki kicks him in the head, only to realize that he said, "Well, if that's what you got to do, go." So the whole <laughs> the whole reason that Nawaki left was because of him. But they end up moving in together too, which is pretty cool. Um, and so that's the that's the egoist part. Their whole their animal is a chicky. And what I like about that couple and what Daryl says he 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 often likes about about the couple is that Hiroki is the bottom, the set uh, the uke, and he has a deeper voice than his top, which is Kind of interesting observation that he that he he said there. Um, I wonder if Daryl's voice is deeper than mine. I don't know, but whatever. That's that's it is what it is. And um, that couple is very stormy, and that really echoes a lot. Both both of those couples so far echo a lot of of my boyfriend and I because our our love is very strong, but it's also been it's also went through a lot, especially with it, with his addiction. So that's another thing that's really um, that was really echoing a lot of our relationship. So off to terrorist couple Miyagi. And Shinobu. Now Miyagi works with Hiroki, so we see him in a couple of episodes before his storyline comes up. And Hiroki teaches Misaki. And actually, it's kind of funny because 
Misaki mentions Hiroki in one of his episodes uh, because he says that they... Um, do you believe that there are some people who th still throw books at kids? And it's funny because Mio Miyagi says, you know, don't you know that they call you Kamijo the Devil? Ka Kamijo is his first name. And it's funny, too, because of the fact that he, he says, well, I don't care. Texting in class is not appropriate. <laughs> so, and, and Hiroki is very moody and superior, which... Daryl really does have that a lot. Um, not exactly moody, but a oh, air of superiority. So with the with a Jun with with um, so I guess I'm just gonna um, gonna just do the Junjo in this one and do an, an Inuyashivit next. Um, but what ends up happening with uh, with the terrorist couple is so he teaches he 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 knows Hiroki who teaches Misaki, and Hiroki also knows Usagi-san and is and is in love with him still. And Miyagi is going off to his getting married. Shinobu is in town from Australia. This takes place in Japan, by the way, of course. Um, and what ends up happening is, well, not of course, because some, some, some animes take place elsewhere. But what ends up happening is he stops these, four, uh, these thugs from beating up Shinobu who then Shinobu discovers that he is that Miyagi is marrying his sister and he thinks that it's fated because you know this is the a handsome stranger who intervened and he realizes that you're now my sister's husband you're my brother-in-law now shit <laughs> so that's that's what ends up happening and after he finds out about the divorce after Shinobu finds out that Miyagi and Rosato have the divorced he says, you must take responsibility. Now, unlike the romantic line where the older pursue the younger, it flips here in the terrorist saga. Their little, their little animal is a panda bear. So, Miyagi is also co coming to, um, he thinks that this is just some kid who's, who doesn't know what he wants and whatever else. And the way that he plays down to Shinobu at first is pretty interesting. And Shinobu tries this cabbage stir fry all the time, and he's trying to get better at it and everything like that. And it's just what I like about Junjo Romantica are the subtleties in the in the in the um, in the series, because it really reminds me a lot of what people will do when they really want someone or when they really want to please somebody. And most yaoi is written by women um, for a gay audience and whatnot, but um, they really focus more on the emotional aspect, which is something that, even though queer folk did a great job of, it was sex, 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 which is a part of life. Um, but what I like about this is, even though it does feature it, it features sex tastefully, and it really gives it such a beauty where it's an expression of love between the two and it's really just I think it's organic you know it's, it's real to me so Junjo Romantica is definitely one of those series that I suggest to everybody a anybody who likes anime or anybody who if you just give it a chance it's on it's actually on YouTube um, if you give it a chance you may you may fall in love with it you may not but at least you'll be able to appreciate it I hope you will because it's a very good anime and I actually was able to burn it to a DVD so I could watch it on my telly over there and when I do I just feel so good because this is something that I want you know um, I want to have that stable couple I want to have that couple that that uh, I've always wanted to have a couple to be a part of a couple that even though things are stormy they turn out all right which is my relationship with Daryl even though we've had some some things that like dealing with his addiction is is really tough but we've come through a lot together in four short years and I'm hoping that it will be many 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 more together so Junjo Romantica check it out um, I can put some links in the description but definitely check it out because it is one of the best anime yao, um, it, it is one of the best yaoi animes I've ever um, seen and one of the few 
I want to do. I do want to see this one that takes place in a bakery. I think it's called Bread or something. But I also want to. No, actually, Bread is is a like a about a Catholic Japanese is a Catholic anime, um, or at least manga. I know it's a manga. I don't know if it's a. It's actually a an anime as of yet. But there was one called uh, Gravitation that I really want to see too, and I really would love to to take a look at that one. So. Do you um have do you know of any good good ones? Uh, AaronFantasy.com, A A R I N Fantasy, is is a good one. To AaronFantasy.com is a good one where you can scroll through many of them and and watch them. I don't know if you can download them, but take a look at Junjo Romantica because it's just it's just great. Sakisio and Princess Princess are two other great ones too. Uh, Sakisio is about two people who have alternate personalities that fall in love with each other. And Princess Princess is about this young boy who goes to an all-boys school where he is asked to take on the role of a princess and they dress, they dress up and everything and their, ex their existence is accepted naturally. So um, that is it for the Yaoi Junjo one. I will be posting a companion to this for Inuyasha. Stay tuned.